Early in the conceptual design phase, presentation drawings many times will utilize color schemes that allow the plan to graphically represent the categories of program that exist in the floor level. So we're going to start today and in this video we're going to take a look at color scheme. The first thing we need to do is we're going to come up to our architectural tab, come over to our room and area panel and click the drop down. This drop down will expose the button color schemes. We're going to click on that. And for this video, we're going to use our rooms since we've already inserted rooms and you can see in the floor plan in the background that we've got our rooms in our room tag. So we're going to actually come down and we're going to utilize these rooms to create our color from. And I'm going to click on by name, create program color schemes based on the name of the areas for this video. And when I click on my name, I'm going to come up here and I'm actually going to change this to presentation scheme just to give this color scheme a name that's fitting and we want to make sure over here on our color drop down that the color is also based by name you'll see by default Revit will assign a color to any room but we're able to manipulate that color and I would like us to get used to making these colors what we would like them to be in the project so I'm just gonna click the drop down and I'll be able to come in here and pick a red for example have a color plan that fades back a little bit I'm gonna come over here and use this indicator range and I'm just gonna lighten it up a bit and I'm gonna repeat the process for some of my other colors as well so let's go with an orange for the circulation and let's just scale that back So now we've got our color set up and if I needed to add additional you see I can click here type in the name for that room we'll go ahead and create one for stair I'll click OK and you see it'll add that to the list I'm going to click on that color let's go with something a little bit different from what we've got so far We'll actually go with a gray for this. We'll just lighten it up. I'm going to click OK. Now we've set up our entire list. If we want to manipulate this name, we can double click on it and we can change this to name presentation. Now I'm going to click on name and click apply and come down to OK. At this point, we've created a color scheme. However, the colors do not appear until we click out here in space in this view just to bring up the properties for the view and then come down on this properties menu to our color scheme. We're going to click, you see it currently reads none. We're going to come back to, to our rooms, our name presentation, and now we need to click apply. Once we do that, you can see the floor plan begins to read the color that we specified. So I can click OK. So here's our colored floor plan. The next thing we want to do is we want to add a legend so that it's clear as we post this presentation drawing to a sheet what these rooms may represent. Many times when you're viewing presentation drawings you're at the back of the room or sometimes we won't even include the room tags so you definitely need a legend. So let's go ahead and add one. I'm going to come up to the annotate tab. I'm going to come down to my color fill panel and there's a color fill legend. If you just click on that you'll see Revit generates this legend. I'm just going to go ahead and drop it in the view 
manipulating this legend is very similar to the rest of the schedules in Revit. If I want to have my zones read across, I can just begin to click and I'll actually drag this all the way up. And you'll see as I drag past each one, Revit is actually starting to space them horizontally instead of vertically. All of this information is taken straight from this color schedule menu where we created it. I hope this video has been helpful.